You see over my shoulder here, low pressure starting to form out over towards Louisiana. That's going to lift its way to north, drag along a cold front. That's going to bring us some really cold weather as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday. But for right now, we have the stationary boundary sitting overhead, and that gave us a sprinkle or two as we head through those overnight hours. Right now, the last of that light rain made its way through Seminole County, through Volusia County. Now it's in Oak Hill working its way out to the Atlantic. That's really the only rain out there. Otherwise, most of us are dry and it's very pleasant outside. We do have the cloud cover, but 67 degrees. Winds are calm. Humidity quite high, so we do have a little bit of patchy fog in spots. Otherwise, temperatures are quite warm. 68 in Leesburg, 68 in the villages. Sanford right now at a comfortable 69 degrees. 68 in Daytona Beach. Deland and Bifflow both at 67 in Melbourne, sitting at 65 degrees. This afternoon, expecting highs again today to get right up around 80 degrees. Expecting 81 for the high in Orlando. 81 in Leesburg should hit 80 in the villages and Ocala. This is the last day of warmth. Colder weather is on the way, so enjoy this if you like the warmer weather. Temperatures warming up into the 80s by 3 o'clock. Again, mostly cloudy skies through most of the day. And then we start to see some changes as we head into Monday. So here's 9 o'clock in the morning, mostly cloudy skies. We'll keep that cloud cover around through most of the day, though some of our areas to the south could see a little bit more sunshine. I think Futurecast is a little oversold on that sunshine. I think we'll see a little bit more cloud cover. But as we go towards 6.30 in the morning on Monday, here's that cold front. Notice the dark reds here near Ocala. That's the chance for some isolated heavier showers, some isolated storms as well. By 10 o'clock in the morning, the front's pushing its way down to the south. And by noon, most of the heaviest of the rain out and as we go into Monday evening, we clear things up and then the colder weather moves in. We do have an isolated risk for some severe weather tomorrow, so some of those storms could produce some strong gusty winds. We'll be watching that very closely, but the main story on the backside of this front is that colder air going to be moving in. Take a look at the Tuesday morning lows in the 40s. We only warm up into the 50s by Tuesday afternoon in Orlando. We'll hit the 60 degree mark in Kissimmee and St. Cloud and even colder as we go into Wednesday morning. We're going to wake up most of us in the 30s Wednesday morning, but luckily by Wednesday afternoon we'll warm up a little bit more. We go from a high of 59 on Tuesday to a high of 64 on Wednesday. So very cold stretch of days ahead. By Thursday, still mostly sunny, rebounding back up into the mid 70s after waking up in the upper 40s. By next weekend, we're right around the mid 70s with rain showers moving back in.